Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Rule breakers, set number two, and again, server breakers, set number two. A lot of servers were down today for some guys as well. Not as bad as last week, but I wanna talk about the second team, all the content that dropped today, and the market movements that were had because of this coming out. A lot of extinct cards were the new rule breakers today. Like half the team was extinct until just a little bit ago when they updated price ranges. So I'm gonna talk about that, where you can expect those cards to go, and just how grossly overpriced all of these players inside this promo are at the moment. It's honestly ridiculous. So we're gonna talk about all that today. So let's review the content, a little promo review to start things off. This is the team that dropped today, of course, special cards in packs. Uh, you were barely able to buy these cards because they were extinct for like three hours, but they're on the market now with some price range updates. Pogba's obviously the headliner. You've got Di Maria, Royce, Alex Teixeira's turning some heads. A lot of people were interested in Potence actually. Uh, Quadrado gets a right back card, which is nice. Opara's got a cool card as well with a lot of pace on a center back. This card might be decently OP. Uh, obviously just very hard to link because it is MLS, but uh, this is the squad today. Of course, Royce and Lukaku were the, the players that they ended up leaking. So if you did guess Royce and Lukaku, you were correct. This team was leaked today before the promo actually started again. We did have leaks, uh, and that was something that I saw across Twitter. But uh, it's a decent team, right? Some people were saying this team... I would honestly argue that this team might be a smidge better than Team 1, just because there's some more, I feel like, usable players in here, and just a little bit more hype for some of the upgrades. Um, even like Jimenez is a really usable card. We just need a dynamic image, EA Sports. I don't know what you're doing with Van Anholt and Jimenez. We need those dynamics. But we do have our first, or one of our first, white shirts of the year with Quadrado. Of course, with EA not having the imaging rights for Juventus, aka Piemonte Calcio. First of the year on those, I believe. But... Um, yeah, that's the rule breakers teams. And the biggest, most interesting part about this is this stuff goes out of packs. It's only in packs for four days, man. It's only in packs for four days. And this is making a lot of people, including myself, think that this might just be the new way that EA is running promos, right? The first set is out in packs for a week and the second set is out in packs for like a half a week. So these guys are going to go out of packs. I think it's Tuesday at 5 59 PM. Uh, UK time. So basically Tuesday at the content drop, these guys will be out of packs and that will lead us into another load up, uh, another loading time or maybe even loading screen time for probably the next promotion, which could be road to the final, unless EA is going to run Movember, which I hopefully, hopefully they don't. But uh, I think it could be road to the final coming after this. But again, these cards are only in packs for four days. So that means they're already rare because these cards are barely packable. These cards are going to fluctuate a lot out of packs. That's going to be fun to trade with and something to watch. But let's get on with the rest of the content. We did have another player pick SBC today. That was Bella Robbie, uh, the paciest, I think, uh, in terms of a good value player. This is one of the paciest right mids, right wings in the Bundesliga, of course, because of the, the pace downgrades to Sancho and to Nabry. 87 pace, one card with 93 dribbling. One card with 88 shots. So again, big boost in those areas. Uh, you know, you kind of know you. If you're going to do this SBC, I don't know, man. The, the shooting one looks interesting, but I don't know if you play this guy at striker. So maybe you go with the dribbling one just because he's going to be out on the wing and maybe cutting in. So that's kind of a, a preference for you. I don't know if there's a lot of people doing this SBC, uh, but it is a decent one. Now, we had another objective player that was added today, Mr. Akin Fenua. This guy's really friendly with EA. Like him and EA, they love doing stuff. This guy gets some sort of special card like every year, the past couple of years. He's all about being Mr. Strong. He's a really strong guy in real life. He's absolutely jacked, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, as a footballer, he kind of like, he's like got the Adama Traore size jack, actually a little bigger than him, maybe. Um, definitely not as fast, uh, but he's just a funny guy. So they did give him really nice upgrade over his, I think he has a silver item or maybe it's even bronze this year, but it is available in objectives and it's pretty easy to do. It's an, an easy English striker card that you can honestly put in your club. And it's kind of just like a fun card to have. So GG's the EA for putting out fun objectives and it's pretty easy to do as well. Uh, doing it in the live foot friendly section, which a lot of the objectives they dropped today and in the past couple days have been in the life of friendlies, which is a W. So this is a decent one for EA Sports. Some people were saying we were going to get a Zlatan Ibrahimovic objective today. That would have been sick, but I feel like it's a little bit too early for that from EA. Like this is a decent objective. I'm happy with it. I think a lot of people are as well. There was one other objective that dropped today. 
League One League players. So the pack code that we saw last night or the the car design that Footwatch tweeted last night that we looked at in our video was actually the League player car design. And the interesting thing about this is it's not a milestone player. This is just a League player. It's not in the milestone section. So that means that it is going to expire. We have 21 days left in the season, basically three weeks for the season one, uh, the first season of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. That means this card is going to expire. And unlike how some of the objective players and milestone players were last year, if you remember like Politano, for example, there was a secondary objective that you could do after you got Politano, you could then upgrade his card. One of the things that was talked about in the uh, pitch notes earlier this year about league players is that it is a one-time upgrade. So that means this Molet card, if you do get this objective, you do do this, uh, this player's objective, he will not be able to be upgraded. This is his card. He's only out for 20 days, so he's not going to be in the milestone tab and be there forever. Uh, so this does expire, but it is a decent looking card is kind of time consuming. You have to win 15 matches using only League One players. That's the biggest, I guess, problem with this objective is it's going to be a little bit time consuming with winning 15 matches. But uh, if you think about it this way, you play a little bit of time, you get a nice French center attacking mid, decent card, and then you have 86 rated fodder for in your club if you're somebody who likes to grind objectives. So that was a GG, uh, not a GG, but that's another objective content that we got today. Uh, of course, there's the Moise Keen. We also got the no boundaries objective, which does give you some packs. And uh, of course we have the mad science objective still in here as well. And again, the Bellarabi SBC was basically the only one we got today. We did get a kit SBC, which a lot of people were actually raving over this kit, the Scream Puff kit. It's actually very interesting, the Scream Puff kit. But it, the only problem is you have to turn in three squads. Three freaking squads, man. Three gold squads. Minimum rating of 75, 76, and 77 to get this kit. So this is going to be one of those like flex kits if you have it. Uh, but some people are saying that it looks pretty dope. It does look kind of funny. I think that's one of the most <laughs> funny kits I've ever seen inside of FIFA. So that's interesting to say the least. But that was our new content today dropped by EA Sports. So a lot in quantity, but the quality is just kind of okay in my opinion. So let's take a look back at the team right now and take a look at some of these prices as well because I'm recording this a bit early and these a lot of these cards were extinct today and I wanna talk about what I think EA is doing and why they're doing this. So Lukaku was extinct at uh, 400,000 coins. Teixeira was extinct at 300,000 coins flat. And I really think EA has like a mastermind plan behind doing all this because what they're doing is when they make a card have kind of a lower price range, I don't even know if that Lukaku card is technically worth 400,000 coins. Like, it doesn't make sense for me. Even this Teixeira, an 83 rated card, new promo card. I know he's got pace. I know he's got good links to the new Talisca and Paulinho. But 430,000 coins for this and 1.6 million coins for a Paul Pogba that is a 47 stat increase from his gold card to his new Rule Breakers item. It's literally 47 stats are, are upgraded in that card. Now I know it's different, right? I know it's different because they, they they change his defensive stats, right? So instead of having more passing, he's got a lot more defense. So it's basically like you, you're you buying this Pogba for 1.3 million coins more than his gold card with the shadow already applied with less passing. That's basically what this Pogba is. <laughs> and it doesn't make sense to me that people want to pay 1.4 million coins for basically a shadow chem style on a Paul Pogba with a dynamic image, a cool card design and minus nine passing. That's how I'm viewing this. So now when you buy this Pogba, you're not going to put a shadow on him. I guess some people are. I would put a catalyst on this card probably to, to boost his passing back up. Yeah, like this guy. But like this is just what EA wants to do when they release promo cards on the market because what it does is it, it just makes for massive, massive inflation. This is how they do it, right? They make the cards really rare, right? When they make the cards really rare. These cards are so unpackable. It's ridiculous. Like less than 1% is what it shows inside of the foot menu when you go inside the pack probabilities. But in all honesty, it's like less than 0.5% or less than like 0.01% percent so they can get away with having less than one percent and satisfy their probabilities but uh just the combination of these cards being so rare they're not being a lot of special cards in the game yet so people are just wanting to use something that spices up their squad and makes it look cool and then also the price ranges right what they do with these price ranges is 
they make them extinct, right? The, the, Lukaku is extinct at 400,000 coins. And what that does is it makes you think, wow, wow, this, this uh, Lukaku card is extinct at 400,000 coins. He must be worth a lot more than that. So people try to snipe the card or they can't get him. They have to wait until that price range updates. But all the while, what they're feeling is, man, this guy must be wanted by a lot of people because he's extinct. He's not on the market. And it just makes you want the card more. And it just like creates more of a like greed or desire in you as the user because you want to use the card, right? You got foot champs to play. You want to use the card item. So what happens is it just creates more demand and more desire for these cards. And EA is like playing with all of us, man. They're playing us like a fiddle, our heartstrings like a fiddle, bro, because this demand, they know that it's there. They know people are going to buy the card and they did it last week with extinct Harry Kane and the other rule breakers that were extinct early on last week. They have this combination figured out where they make the card rare, they make the card extinct. So then the card price gets updated and then it maintains a higher price because there's just more demand for that card and people start valuing that card higher. Uh, and then EA's got you in the bag there too, because then what happens is down the line, two, three, four weeks later, when the market crashes for some other reason, when there's more special cards coming out, they just make you lose coins, which all they want is for you to be losing coins constantly throughout the year, over and over and over. Every transaction, when you buy a new promo card, for when you sell it a week or two or three weeks later, they want to make you try to lose coins because then you're probably putting on more FIFA points to spend more money on the game to get those coins back through opening packs. So I think that's what EA is doing. And, you know, they've been doing this over the years, but it's really obvious after today and after the first couple of promos we've had this year, just with all of these cards being extinct, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, in terms of a FIFA user, why these cards are this much, like people... I would like to say that I think this entire community is smart enough to know that some of these cards are not worth that much, but just with the demand of people wanting to be the best and trying out the newest cards and having the newest stuff, uh, and that's just not a FIFA thing. That's inside of all video games and in life. People want the newest, greatest, and best thing, and that's what these things are in FIFA. So, of course, EA is going to find a way to make you pay a premium for it so that you can possibly lose coins in the future and then benefit them by buying more FIFA points. So... That's kind of my theory. Of course, that's pretty anti-EA, honestly. Um, but over and over, we've seen that throughout the past couple of years with the way they're doing promos, and it's really, really coming out today. So what's going to happen with these card prices, though? Since these ranges just got updated, what I honestly see happening over the next couple of hours is overnight into the UK time, these these guys are probably just going to start to to trail back off in price. Now, a guy like Potence, who right now is 140, he was extinct at 150. He got his price range update to 200, and now people are listing him at 140. This card, to me, looks exactly like gold Raheem Sterling with less pace is what this card looks like to me. So he's probably going to be somewhat in this price range. Uh, just because it's a special item, more rare than a gold card. But I don't see much more in this card other than that, uh, to be honest with you. The, like the rest of this team, are there really any game-breaking players in here? If I'm being honest, not that many. Count, uh, Chua Nulu looks pretty good. Jimenez looks pretty solid. Quadrado looks interesting. Teixeira is going to have a lot of hype, and he's going to stay overpriced because of the Talisca links and Paulinho links. Di Maria looks pretty good as well. But a lot of these cards today, it's not a bad team. It's just I feel like it could be a little bit better and... You can just tell that EA is really trying to milk the promos this year, man. So um, the reason why these cards are so expensive is honestly, it's baffling to me. But I do think that people are going to wake up on Saturday morning when you're maybe watching this video uh, and you're going to see these cards actually rise up from what they reach their lows on a on this this friday night into saturday they're probably still going to rise up in the morning so what i would do is i'm recording this a bit early as you could tell there's still a light flowing in from the windows right now it's usually not late when i'm recording this it's early tonight uh, but as we head into the morning time on saturday you probably will see these cards hit a low point i thought they were all going to be extinct for a long time and not have a chance to rebound back but it looks like they are going to have a chance to rebound back now that they're not extinct and the ea didn't update the price ranges like in the dead of night uh, before all, all of the listings could come through. They updated these while the EU was still technically awake. So I think that these cards will kind of drop overnight. They will reach a point where they get pretty low. And the ones that are the most meta, if we look at a team last week, right? Mertens bounced a lot last week. Laporte, Llorente, 
Kane, Douglas Costa, and Nine Golan, and even Ocampos were the biggest movers from that Friday night into Saturday rise. So this week time frame, I would probably expect guys like Van Anholt possibly, um, Teixeira for sure it was one of the most hyped up cards. Pogba probably, and then Lukaku. We'll really have to watch how much their prices drop off tonight. I'm going to be staying away from these cards in all honesty because they're so overpriced. They might be good to flip with. If you want to get a little bit ballsy, a little bit risky, they might be good to flip with. But what I would say is stick to some of these players, man. Some of the other out-of-packs golds, like even this Joe Gomez today at the content drop was getting panic listed at 130,000 coins. And this is something we do on every single promo Friday is we look for panic like this. There was a little bit of panic earlier today, which I was able to capitalize on. I bought these Kimmiches last night at 130, sold them at a decent amount, but this is what I wanna focus on. I bought two Firminos today, and I'm gonna show you his graph in a second. Out of packs informs that get panic sold leading up or in the first hour or two after a new content drop is one of the best ways to make coins in a short-term flipping scenario on a Friday that is a promo Friday. This Firmino I bought at 228,000 coins. I was looking on Flipbin for cards that were low and check this out. Firmino was 254 right before the content drop. A couple hours after he's down to 228,000 coins, rebounded right back up to 249, 250. Uh, so I snatched two of these at 228 and now he is back up to 250. So that was a G freaking G right there. There was other cards that did that today, but if you kind of if you kind of think of it this way, a lot of the gold cards, right, that are in packs right now, um, they are, went down today with pack supply, right? And are they going to bounce back? Possibly. But a lot of people who have already bought these cards for their weekend league teams, they didn't really panic sell them today. If a card like Firmino is going down, he is out of packs, and that means his price dropping means people are just selling his card. He's so much more rare than a gold card on the market. He's not getting supplied with packs being opened that this makes a perfect opportunity to buy this card, especially when we have new Brazilian players he might be trying to link to Taliska, SBC, Paulinho, Team of the Week, and this new Alex Teixeira striker card. Um, this would be a player that... I'm, I'm not surprised he rebounded right back because he's Brazilian, right? He links to those guys and provides a nice little Brazilian link for maybe a Talisca, Paulinho, and Teixeira that you would maybe run into the rest of your Premier League team. So that's why I was super duper hope, uh, psyched about buying this card today at 228. I would have bought more, but I had no more coins because I was flipping some other things as well. I did buy some Paulinhos and uh, there's my other Firmino. I did buy a Zaha today, trying to do some quick flips on Team of the Week. Uh, into the night. Hopefully they rise up a little bit. I bought some Brunos because these were at 100k flat, 100, 105, and he's bounced back up to like 115 or so. That's a high rated enough gold card that I do think he will rise back up. And then I did buy this uh, Laporte today when I saw Pogba get released in the team. He has gone from about 475,000 coins all the way up over 500k, and I think he probably goes a little bit more into the night. So I'm going to try to try to get this out maybe like 527 or so overnight tonight. Uh, but there were there was some money to be made today, right? There was a lot of icons that dropped low today. And of course, if you know, some of these players are hard to link up with their nationalities like Opara, um, who is honestly, I think, really cheap. Um, Rule Breakers Opara is like, what is he, like 40 or something thousand coins? Like it's really cheap, this guy, but it's really hard to link him. And I think that's why he's so cheap. But I mean, if you're gonna link this guy up, you probably use some icons. And a, a lot of panic selling on icons happens almost every promo Friday. So into the day today on Saturday, I'd just be a little bit careful if you, if you have a lot of players like this in your team. I don't think we're getting a weekend league extension for the short amount of time that the servers were messed up today. Uh, so I would expect to see maybe a few of these golds rise up a little bit into the day today on Saturday. But then after that, they're going to tail off. Weekend league sell-off is going to start happening and you're going to see these prices dip back down into the night on Saturday. Now, if you're going to use any of these cards, just be careful with them. Their prices are going to be fluctuating a lot. Uh, and if you have out of packs informs like this Rashford flew today, Sanchez was at 160. He's bounced back up a little bit. I'm watching this Zaha because I think he might go back to like 255 overnight. I'm hoping he goes there. Uh, some of these out of packs informs like same maxman is really high right now. I would try to cash this stuff out as early into the midday uh, on Saturday today, if you could, just to maybe save yourself some coins because weekend league sell off it happens quick. It happens fast. And it's going to happen fast again this weekend as well. So uh, today's content for Saturday, I would expect another player SBC just because it looks like the past um, 
the past two promo weeks, they've been doing an SBC um, the first two days of the promo back to back. Last week, we got Malong on Saturday, I believe. Uh, and then we also had Inaki Williams first day. So I would expect another player SBC today for Rule Breakers, team number two, and of course, some promo packs as well. So if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out at all, or if you just had a crazy day uh, on Rule Breakers team two, let me know about it down below in the comments. There's people that are getting market banned. So be careful out there, boys. If you're using extensions, I don't recommend doing that. Or if you're using the, if you're having to solve captures, be very, very careful. All right. Very, very careful if you're having to solve captions. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, if you did enjoy it, thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.